Today's topic, we're going to talk about Japanese confidence versus American confidence. Today I wanted to react and give you my impressions of a video that was uploaded recently by Jesse, who is a half Japanese YouTuber as well. He made a video seeing how people rank themselves from 1 to 10. Japan's war's lowest with its confidence and self-esteem, so today I'm going out on the streets of Tokyo asking people, do you think you're beautiful? And it gave me a lot of thoughts and things that I wanted to kind of talk about. Let's kind of just take a look and see what they said. Japan's war's lowest with its confidence and self-esteem, so today I'm going out on the streets of Tokyo asking people, do you think you're beautiful? I'm really hoping that a lot of people are confident in themselves and give themselves a high rating. <laughs> So first of all, Jesse actually also gave me permission to do this video and kind of react to it. So shout out to Jesse. But these two first people, the first one says 8 out of 10. Her friend gave herself a 5 out of 10. It looked like her friend was kind of surprised that she would give herself such a low number. And I'm going to get into this a little bit, but 5, if we really think about it, 5 is average. You know, 10 is insane, 5 is average, and 0 would be like way below average. <laughs> So he says, I lack the confidence to think I'm attractive. It's such a funny thing that confidence and attraction are so closely tied together. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later because I'm going to also show you how the American confidence levels are just compared to you know a small sample of Japanese people being asked on the street. If he was confident, he might have said he was 10 out of 10. Who knows? So anyway, it turns out you know he does have things he's proud of and people do tell him that he's good looking, which I think is always a confidence booster. Kind of wholesome that so far the Japanese people aren't really gassing themselves up so much. Uh, I know Jesse trying to, is, is kind of gassing him up here at the end, but just another interesting one. <laughs> I actually appreciate this guy a lot because I don't know if he actually thinks he's a 3 out of 10 or not, but he's confident in his muscles, he doesn't really probably care, so whatever, 3 out of 10. <laughs> So we're still seeing a lot of 5 out of 10s, but it doesn't seem like anybody is really depressed about this. They're just giving their honest feedback, maybe from a humble response. If I was in the States, you know, I might think about saying something like, oh yeah, I'm definitely a 10, or you might hear somebody try to do that just to make themselves feel good or look confident on camera, but I can really appreciate that someone's just giving their honest, realistic answer, even though I think it's, it's really weird to give yourself a number. I understand that, but I do find it kind of respectful and maybe something to do with just Japanese culture that there's certainly going to be a lot of Japanese people who say that they're 10 out of 10 but at least the people he's so far interviewing are very keeping themselves at average almost as if they don't want to stand out as being overly confident when they know they're not maybe a 10 you know in the US we always try to say you should have a lot of confidence no matter what and it starts to kind of develop I think a lot of blind confidence in the US I don't think it has anything really to do with them putting themselves down but I think it's maybe something to do with uh, just, you know, they don't want to stand out. They don't want to like act up and look like they think that there's the, some sort of big shot or a level 10 when they're not. I don't think I'm even a level 10, you know, so I can really appreciate what they're saying. <laughs> Something I just realized here is 
She gave herself a 3 out of 10 just because her other friends she thinks are prettier than her. It's interesting to me, and I know this is a small sample size, but it's almost like Japanese people really do appreciate the harmony and try to push like, no, you're pretty, no, you're, no, you're breathtaking. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. So we just got a 9.5 out of 10. It's all kind of a matter of perspective, but still we're seeing a lot of low numbers so far. <laughs> Okay, so you know that that's the end of the video. It's small sample size, so it's really hard to say, but I would say we're seeing stuff more on like six, five and under. Now that we've seen the Japanese side, let's go ahead and take a look at a American side. Right now, a two. Two, on a bad day. Five on a good day. I should do low so I like fish for compliments, you know? Like, dude, you're not a three. I feel like I'm not very symmetrical. Definitely a three or a four. Three or a four. It's very hairy, up, like head to toe. I'd say a four. Does that make me more attractive? <laughs> I'm a nice solid four. Four. On a bad day, five. Like a five? Just like normal. I don't know, five or six. I'd probably give myself a five or six right now. What do you like about yourself? I like everything about myself. I just also see myself realistically. I like what he said, you know, he sees himself realistically, but everyone who gave him a low point, I actually think quite a few of them, I know this is shallow, but are higher than what they actually rated themselves. I'm a five in Ohio, then I'm a eight in Seattle. Miami six in Seattle 10. Boom. I think they're ranked themselves a little too high. Too high? Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm like a six. Six? I told you everybody gives themselves a seven. Really? Seven. 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 Cool seven. High seven. Soft seven. Probably a boot job. About a seven, five from the side. Got a weak chin. I think I'm a seven or an eight. You seven or an eight? I think I'm about an eight. I'm an eight. 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 I say eight right now because my hair's not fully done. A solid eight. I am a solid nine. I'm a nine. 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 You know, I got the curves. On the way here, this was getting hit on pretty hard in the light rail, so like, <laughs> it's doing it. I'd maybe say like a nine or ten on good days. I have pretty high self-confidence and I don't care what other people think, so a ten. I'm a ten. 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 I feel like a ten. A ten. What? Uh, why not? Yeah. I'm so high. Ten. All right, so we were just we just watched the whole video together. I didn't think I was gonna do that, but basically everyone in the U.S. I think if you're also somewhere western, I don't know, U.K. or Canada or wherever, it does feel really like you don't want to give yourself a low number. You don't want to be average. Like people really don't want to be average. If you look at this chart, there's way more on the seven and above half. It's not even a half. It's like, I don't know, what is this? 29 said seven, 19 said eight, 10 said nine, 14 said 10. Some people even said 11 or 12. Uh, you know, there's one Japanese guy who gave himself a 25. Obviously there's more people in this sample size and it's Seattle, so it, I can't say it for the entire United States, but I thought it was like still a good study, you know, to see that people generally try to rate themselves higher than a five. No one wants to be average. Whereas Japan, I think we saw a lot of people give themselves fives or lower. Number one, I just thought this is an interesting video. I wanted to make sure to talk about it because I'm an American, half Japanese, as you know, and I was kind of pleasantly surprised, I guess, to see that, you know, the, the cultural differences do come through in the video compared to this one, you know, where everybody's saying that they're at least a seven, uh, such a strong amount say seven. And I really understand why, it's because you don't want to feel like you're not special, you're not unique in Japan or, or in the United States. I could imagine that part of it is due to just how we're raised. You're taught all the time that you're unique 
and that you are special and all this. And it really does raise your confidence. As a kid, I feel like you would want to actually have high confidence. Maybe in Japan, it's not as common to say, you know, you're unique. You're just kind of like everyone else, which isn't a bad thing. This is actually very good for social harmony. If everyone kind of sees themselves as similar, they can work together as a group. Whereas in America, everyone sees themselves very high level. It's going to cause more friction maybe in the workplace and things like that. I don't know how this affects culture. Japan has a very big problem right now with innovation. A lot of people in the US don't want to work for the man, they want to do their own thing. Whereas in Japan, there are a lot of people who are very independent, freelancer, and it's definitely a growing trend now. But I think in the past, it's very common where you just enter a company, you don't want to stand out. I've gone to a Japanese university where people don't even like raise their hand to talk to the teacher if they, they ask a question. So sometimes the professors just are basically talking to a brick wall <laughs> because no one wants to stand out. At the same time, this is actually possibly, this is just my own opinion, a good thing for society in Japan to create harmony because everyone is basically thinking they're at the same level. Maybe that goes into work culture and school and things like that. I'm really not sure, but I can tell you there's plenty of people, at least in the United States, who are very confident in what they do at work, even though they might be the most incompetent people. I'm sure a lot of people have had a boss who's just terrible and they think that they're so good and they're making all this money and really there's nothing to back it up. And a lot of times people have this confidence even though there's nothing to back it up, they have it and maybe they can get a really good job and people like confident people. It's just, it's just the way it is. And I guess I'll close with this. I think Kevin Samuels, rest in peace, might actually even applaud Japanese people for being a little bit more realistic. If you don't know who Kevin Samuels is, I'll, I'll play a couple clips for you here. I give myself a solid 9.8. <laughs> all in all, my opinion on what is better to be very realistic and maybe rank yourself lower and suffer some confidence issues versus not having anything to back up this blind confidence but just giving yourself a 10 every day look at yourself in the mirror say i'm a 10 for being happy sake as an individual i actually think maybe the american approach could be better i don't know what do you think better for society or better for yourself let me know your thoughts make sure to subscribe if you haven't like the video share it i want to make sure that this channel hits 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year it's my goal if you like this type of content please do it and let me know and I'll do more because I live in Japan. I have, I've been here for almost 10 years and I have a lot that I can share and I will keep on sharing. That's about it. Thanks guys. Bye.